Hey guys, this is Wesley with NLC Worship, and uh, I'm super excited to be doing the Devo with you guys today uh, for NLC Live. Um, I'm really, really excited about the verses that we're going to kind of like be unpacking a little bit um, because they revolve around worship. And um, it, this these verses are just kind of like a like a worship 101. If you don't know how to like apply worship to your everyday life, um, this is a really good um, just set of verses to kind of like stand on and uh, revisit on. Uh, you know, if you're in kind of like a dry spell, I know a lot of us can just kind of like get to a place to where it's like, I don't even know how to worship. You know, I'm tired, I'm worn out. Um, going back to these verses can really like encourage us and how we can... Um, how we can just give thanks to the Lord. Uh, so, verse 1, Psalm 92, and verse 2, It is good to praise the Lord and make music to your name, O Most High, proclaiming your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night. Um, it is good to praise the Lord. It's good to give thanks. Um, and a, a couple of other uh, translations, uh, to make music in your name. One says, to sing in your honor. And then proclaiming your constant love every morning and your faithfulness every night. Um, so worship doesn't involve music all the time. It doesn't have to uh, be singing. It doesn't have to be playing instruments. Uh, you know, in previous devos, we learned uh, even from Ellen just um, how we can worship with our finances, worship with our giving. Um, we are going to talk about uh, singing a little bit today, and we're going to talk about um, just kind of like proclaiming. Those are the two applications that I want to pull from these verses with an overarching kind of like um, theme of giving thanks. Um, thankfulness is a weapon, y'all. Like um, I, I can deal with anxiety sometimes whenever I can kind of like feel myself get a little anxious. My wife is really, really good about this, and you know she's just like, you know, what are you thankful for? Just like, be thankful. Tell the Lord um, the things that you're thankful for today, um, and uh, we can really use thankfulness as a weapon against the enemy's um, the enemy's uh, ploys against our happiness. Um, so, uh, thinking about giving thanks, uh, two things that we should do. Number one, we should sing to the Lord. Uh, even when it feels awkward, even if you can't hold a tune, you know, some of us are on the worship team. That's great. Some of us are not. That's great too. That doesn't mean that we're not able to sing to the Lord. That doesn't mean that we're not able to, um, you know, give thanks through song. Uh, a lot of times, you know, I'll just be riding in my car and whatever. Thank you for my family. You know, I'll just sing just little things. And again, you know, it might feel awkward if you haven't done it before. Um, but the Lord loves to hear your voice. He loves to know what you're thankful for. And, uh, putting it in song is just, uh, a sweet sound to his ear. And then, um, so sing to the Lord. Number two, uh, proclaim his love and faithfulness every morning, every night. Um, I'm not awesome about it. What I'm trying to do is whenever I wake up, um, my feet kind of hit the floor and, you know, I just say, Lord, I accept your love today. Um, I know how much you love me, and I thank you for it. And uh, a lot of times I'll rock my son to sleep at night, and um, I'll just try to think of his faithfulness throughout the day and thank him for that. Um, so when it says proclaiming your constant love, um, I actually have a little bit of a story, and and then we'll pray. Um I, uh, I love my kids so much, um, and w one time in particular, I was holding my two-year-old. His name is Judah, and, uh, you know, he's a two-year-old. He gets into everything. Uh, a lot of times, I have to redirect him, and, um, and that's okay. It doesn't change my love for him, but I was holding him while he was watching something on the TV, and it's like I wanted him, I wanted him to respond to me. He didn't, and that was okay. But I was just whispering in his ear. I was like, I love you. I love you. I love you. And um, it was amazing. It was like the Lord downloaded this super complex thought in my brain immediately. And um, he just, he told me, 
uh, not audibly, but in my spirit, I just felt he told me in times of distraction, in times even where I may need to redirect you, and in times to where you may not even hear my voice, I just want you to know that I'm always saying to you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Um, and in turn, it just made me want to respond to him. And the way that I wanted Judah to respond to me, um, it just made me want to respond to the Lord and say, Lord, I love you. Thank you. Your love is constant. And I want to proclaim that every morning. Um, so just kind of like a small little uh, thing that's been going on in my life and how I can proclaim my love to the Lord uh, because he proclaims his love to me every day, every second of every day. Um, but I hope that this, uh, I hope that this makes sense to you guys. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for your love. Thank you for your faithfulness. It is constant, never ending, never changing. Every morning we want to come to you and we want to thank you for your love. We want to proclaim that. Every night we want to thank you for your faithfulness and we want to proclaim that, Lord. Lord God, I just want to take this time to um, to honor you and give thanks to you. In everything that we do, we just want to give thanks to you, Lord God. We want to honor you with our day. We want to honor you with our time. Help us be um, just a light to others um, and help us be joyful in our singing to you. Help us be um, Help us be real in our singing to you too. Even if we're not in a joyful time in our life, um, Lord God, you want to know the good and the bad that we're going through. You want to know everything about us um, from us. You already know everything about us, but you want to hear it from us because that puts our trust in you. And we want to trust in you, Lord God. Every day, help us build our trust in you more and more and more because you are faithful and you are worthy and you're our closest companion. We love you, God. Christ name I pray, amen. Awesome, thank you guys.